Every destination has its iconic hotel and here on the island of Phuket, it's the Boathouse. We're here for the resort's 25th anniversary and we've been joined by guests from throughout the world. So, let's go and check out what's going to be a fantastic party. It's great to be back at the Boathouse. For me, I've known this hotel for about 20 years and it's still as good as ever, isn't it? Or even, if not better. I think it's like old wine, it's getting better as time goes by, hopefully. Well, it's not the biggest resort on the island, but probably the most iconic. Yes, it's true. Um, it's also because it's been around for so long. We're celebrating tomorrow night our 25th anniversary. Um, it was one of the oldest, one of the first hotels to be built and it's now one of the oldest to, to, around but of course we completely renovated it a few years ago once it was uh, sold. Um, and of course the Boathouse Wine and Grill has been known for many, many, many years um, as one of the best tables in Phuket. We won many awards um, with our wine cellar and uh, it's always been a destination dining um, place. Yeah, I mean it's, it's attracted visitors from all around the world. A lot of famous people have stayed here over the years too. and. And I guess it's because it isn't too big, it's, it's cosy, it's, uh, it's boutique, that means attention to detail and a, and a great service. Yes, we've got an incredible number of returning guests, uh, probably the first time I, I personally witnessed that in the hospitality industry. Definitely due to its size and the boutique factor, like you're saying, and the personalized service. I mean, there's incredible bonding between some of the staff that's also been here um, pretty much since Boathouse opened and some of the guests that have been coming back year after year for the last 25 years. I guess you've got some of those guests uh, at the party tomorrow night. Yes, Come yes, back. and yeah. they're very excited to be here to celebrate with us. Now, one of my favorite treats here at Ricatta Beach Club is this. It's the martini manicure. Now, you can grab yourself a fruit juice, sit back, and be pampered. I think the beach club has become a very popular thing now in yes. Phuket, hasn't it? Oh, yes, yes. It's become a very popular thing to have beach clubs, yes. We're lucky that uh, we're the only one in Kata Beach uh, the only one actually between Kata Hanoi, Kata Beach and Karon uh, to be a freestanding uh, open beach club. Uh, so that, that's helped us a lot in the sense of uh, managing the competition also uh, mm -hmm. because there's less of them around. So other areas of the island have uh, many beach clubs and yeah. quite saturated. So we were quite lucky in that sense and our location that's right on the beach with a swimming pool and the fact that it's more than just a beach club. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's more than just a beach club. There's a, yeah. there's a spa, there's a boutique in it, there is um, a coffee shop attached to the boutique. We have changing rooms also available. There's the bar, there's the restaurants. And we, we do a lot of events there, mm -hmm. uh, private events, private weddings, corporate events, parties. Um, yeah. Well, one last question. Tomorrow yes. night's the, the big night. It's yes. the party to celebrate the 25th anniversary yes. of Boathouse. What have you got planned for us? Can you give us any hints? <clears throat> yes. Uh, well, there's a lot planned. Uh, a lot in my head going on right now. <laughs> so I'll try to see what I can, what I can remember. Um, we've got, obviously, La Vie en Rose, which is the band that has flown in from New York uh, to play for... Actually, from, they've been here a couple of days now already, and they'll be here until the middle of March. Um, we've got them playing all night. We've got a guest chef, a French guest chef, also the, the pastry uh, uh, French uh, chef that's going to be building uh, the ceremony cake, the, the kind of birthday cake for Boathouse through the evening, which will then move on to a kind of uh, a procession, a, a march, let's say, sorry, not a procession, a march with the cake and the band going and so on. We've got a classic car being brought in that's very much in line with the Riviera feel of Boathouse, the classic car. Uh, with the colors and the style of that area. We've got some ice carving of iconic French features. Uh, we've ordered over a ton of ice for this ice carving. So I hope, you know, 
Wow. <laughs> I hope that looks good at the end. It's going to be a challenge in this weather too. Yeah, <laughs> well, the weather is not, the wind would be the issue. The heat yeah. is, is it's okay so much. But if we, if the wind stays like tonight, then it will stay up. Obviously, it's going to melt. I mean, yeah. it, it is ice. So, but the question will be how fast. So hopefully, if the wind stays like this, it will be better. Uh, great food. We've got French, particularly quite a bit of French food. We have foie gras paired with some sweet French wines. We have some Thai cuisine, obviously, which is also part of Boathouse. We've got a bar from Ricotta. Ricotta has more of the, the cocktail mixology theme going, whereas Boathouse is more, much more wine driven. So we have also a big wine bar. Uh, we have a seafood with oysters and local prawns uh, oh, station. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, this, yeah, this keeps is, going. It's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> I don't know. Uh, plenty of things going a on. A good yes. party by the end of yes, the day. Yes, yes. And yeah. it's going to be fun. There's a few other things coming out. Uh, I hope that people also. Uh, interact that's yeah. what we like to see a little bit so we've done as much as possible to get them going some models uh, yeah, yeah. could keep going but I think I'll leave a bit for the camera to, to yeah, take also yeah, yeah, yeah. surprises yes oh, thanks Sandy it's great yes. to meet you and yes, uh, yeah. looking oh. forward to looking forward to the tomorrow night looking forward to dinner actually yeah to, <laughs> tonight already the dinner and then tomorrow the uh, the party will be good. So now the sun has gone down and the party has officially started. So let's go inside and meet some of the people behind the boathouse and some guests who've been visiting here since the hotel first opened. Well, so um, obviously this hotel goes back a long way for you. What's it like to be back here on the 25th anniversary? Well, first of all, I said I'm glad to be alive. <laughs> and, so are we. Uh, <laughs> but this was my, this was almost my first baby in Phuket. It used to be a restaurant before that, and then we built this place, and uh, and it's great to see it's transforming constantly. It, unlike me. It never ages. It's gotten young again. It's getting younger. Like a good wine, yeah, like a good wine. But then we still have all these nice old faces that I see that were here even as little kids it seems like when we first opened. For you coming into this hotel, um, obviously you've already got all the foundation laid, how do you build upon that? Well, it's not uh, that uh, uh, difficult to do that because uh, it's a very nice uh, hotel. It is on the best location on the beach and uh, this beach is the most beautiful one in uh, Phuket. I would agree with you there. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and the people who have been working here for 25 years, a lot of them stay, stay on with us. So they know the guests and they uh, know what to do to make guests happy. So it's easy. To you, what is it that makes this place special? I think it's location. It's like everything in our business, it's about location. And you know, it's not, we were talking about it earlier, it's, it's really a bit of an oasis now in the middle of a very crowded area, but we've been able to keep its uniqueness and the fact of its location and its design, you know, gives it the special experience that people are looking for. So yeah, it's great. We just gotta keep working at it. Absolutely, another 25 years maybe. Another 25 years, exactly. What's great about tonight's party is we're meeting a lot of old friends. And Laurie, I met you here when you were working here 15 or so years ago. Yeah, 15 years ago, I was the PR manager here for, for four years. Um, saw many changes and it's so great to be here tonight and see so many familiar faces and the staff again. Wonderful. Great job. Now Bill, I understand that you were here when this hotel first opened, yes? Yes. I used to eat in the restaurant that was here before the hotel was built. Now why do you like this hotel? Well, it's been very friendly and very nice to me yeah. over the years. And I had friends who came and stayed here, and we liked it very much. Yeah. I think there's, there are staff here who've been here since the beginning as well, and that makes it quite special yeah. too, doesn't it? Uh, and you get greeted by... They know you. Staff. Yeah, they oh, know you. This man yeah. greeted me last night. Yeah. And it must be very special when you keep coming back to a place that feels like home. Yeah. yeah. I guess, Nigel, most destinations have an iconic hotel. Do you think this is it for Phuket? I think, for, I think basically here and the uh, Phuket Yacht Club is both by Montreux. So, yeah, they, they are the two iconic hotels. 
then Amapuri, and but, but these were the leaders in the uh, in the whole uh, high-end hospitality in Phuket, without a doubt. Now, I very fondly remember the days of the Phuket Kings Cup when you were yeah, sponsoring, and they used to have great parties here. Yeah, we did. We did. As I mentioned to you, uh, the, the sort of downside of all that was the tsunami. When uh, we, we walked past here in 2026 of uh, December, and it was totally destroyed. And uh, you know they brought it back, and again resilience of Thailand and Phuket, and long may it continue. Compassionate endeavors, ladies and gentlemen. It is not easy to learn business doing a period of rapid change in all areas. entertainment tonight at the Boathouse 25th anniversary is from Livion Rose who come all the way from New York and wow great to see you here. Thank you great to be here tonight. So Viola uh, it's, it's a great turnout you're enjoying singing to this it's group It's wonderful tonight. like people are very responsive the venue of course is beautiful so it's you know it's the best conditions to do what we love. So tell me a little bit about your band and your music. Sure um, so um, we are named uh, Livion Rose so we specialize in French and jazz music um, because I come from France and now I live in New York. So the bandmates, uh, Manami Morita on piano and Amina Kazuno on saxophone. And tonight we have a wonderful guest as well, actually locals, drums and bass. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we came here and we're doing our thing and we're super happy that, you know, yeah. it's getting good response. Nice place to be too, yeah? It is pretty nice to escape New York's winter right now. I'm sure it is, it's gorgeous right here on the beach. Well, I hope you get a chance to actually get out there and have a swim. I hope so. <laughs> All right, so I think we need a happy birthday now for the boathouse. Yeah? Sounds good. In French. All right. Bien, très bien. Joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire. Boathouse. 